Hey guys, Swiss here, and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some awesome looking spikes, and I'm just going to get myself a bindable tool. It can be anything from a wooden shovel to a netherite hoe. I'm going to give myself a golden axe, and we're going to be using Archeon, and we're going to do slash slash arc brush, and then we're going to do spike. And this is a really easy way to do a, a spike because you just put in a few values um, and it's really just that easy. Um, I'm gonna do a diamond uh, block just like that. And then we wanna know how long your spike is. So if you did 55, it's gonna be a really long spike. And then if you did 20, it's gonna be a really short spike. And then if you want just five, it's gonna be like an immensely short uh, one. So this is just gonna be five blocks long, 55 blocks long, 20 blocks long, etc. So we're gonna do 55 just for this demonstration. And then we want to know how thick you want the very bottom and then how thick you want the very top. So if you do like 10 and then one, it's going to start at 10 blocks wide and then it's going to taper down to one block. Um, but if you want a really, really thick base, um, then you could do 25 and then one. Or if you want a fairly thick um, end, you can do four, whatever you'd like. I'm going to do um, 10 and one and just fly up a little bit. And then as you can see, where I click and what angle I'm looking is going to just attract directly to me. And so you can kind of fly around here and pick out whichever angles that you want. Some angles aren't gonna look great just because they have this really flat edge comparatively to the most others where they're just gonna look a lot better. So you might wanna get rid of those if you um, can. And it's really, really simple by just doing undo. You can get rid of as many as you want. Um, so I'm gonna make a little cluster here. Now, one thing that's important is sometimes you want to have a little bit of variation. So what you can do is you can also just make some um, smaller uh, little spikes and you can even go and say, okay, instead I'm gonna do like seven in one and then I'm gonna do like 20 and then you can um, fill in some of these gaps if you want um, and you can really make these clusters feel um, very full um, depending on what you like. Now, if I want to um, paint, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire thing and then I'm going to make sure that I G mask. And it's very important that I do this because I don't wanna be affecting anything uh, but air. And now that I'm only going to be affecting the air, I'm going to replace around using the tilde key and then I'm gonna do uh, 57, which is the numerical ID for diamond block. It, I can spell it out, but it doesn't give me the prompt. And so just doing 57 is gonna be faster for me. Um, and then 95.3, which is just light blue stained glass. And voila, you get an outer coating on whatever block you chose for the tilde. Now, basically, you can turn your G mask off and you can replace the 57 or just diamond block with a light source and you can make some really good looking um, magic crystals if you'd like. Now, if you wanted to make these hollow, you can simply, we're gonna undo really quickly, and then we can replace the diamond blocks to just zero. And there we go, now they're completely hollowed out just like that. There is one thing that I want to show you because if you don't uh, do it, it's going to make things very bad for you very quickly. And that's something as simple as when you're pasting these into terrain and you just paste them normally, what's gonna end up happening is if you pasted something wrong and you want to go back and fix it, but you know it's a few hundred commands behind so you can't undo it, well, often what people are gonna do is they're gonna replace near 50, 57, zero, and I'm gonna get rid of that spike and now it's affected the terrain and it makes it look really, really ugly. So when you're doing your um, pasting, what I want you to do is I want you to G mask zero. And so that if you make a bunch of stuff and then you make a mistake, uh, what you can do is you can replace uh, near 50, 57, zero. You can delete all of the spikes and it does not affect your terrain. And that's extremely, extremely important when making forests or spikes or anything like that, because you want to have your terrain as untouched as possible, just so that you can have kind of a save point, if that makes sense. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I will see you later. Peace.